Hello, a chroeso in my vordo diwedd arani yma o Eglwys Gymraeg Canol Llinden. A warm welcome to everyone who's joining us for this hour, our latest bilingual meditation from the Welsh Church of Central London. Ac fe ddechreu ni fel arfer gyda gair o weddi, felly gawn ni droi at yr arglwydd nawr mewn gweddi. Let us turn to God in prayer. Arglwydd ein diw, diolch hwn fod y addewidion yn aros yr un o hyd. Yng hanol holl newid i adau bywyd, gall hwn ddibynnu ar dy ffyddlondeb, dy wirionedd, dy gariad a thfyddiant. Lord our God, we thank you that your promises remain the same. In the midst of all of life's changing circumstances, we can depend on your faithfulness, your truth, your love, and your forgiveness. Derbyn i nawr yn enw Christ. Amen. Well, dwi am dynnu chsylwch i am ychydig heddiw at eiriau a welir yn ail lythu'r Paul at y Corinthiaid, a bennod agoriadol ar i geinfed adnod. Ynddo ef y mae'r Yn ddwy ef y mae'r ie i holl a ddewidion diw. Dyma pam mae trwyddo ef y rydym yn dweud yr amen er gogoniant diw. For all the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. Those are the words we find in Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, the first chapter and verse 20. Ac mae'n rhyfedd o beth yn dyw i feddwl weithiau fel ma amgylch i adau gweitha bywyd yn gallu esgor ar rai o brofiadau mylysa bywyd hefyd. Fe all mae'r storom fawr a'i grym a ddaw ar pethau gorau i mi fwy'n dyfynnu y geiri yna o emyn cyfarwydd moelwyn yn aml mewn pregeth. Ac o'n i bai bod Paul wedi cael profiadau gwael gan bobl Corinth a chael amser anodd oddi wrth hwnnw, dwi ddim yn credu y byddai'r geiri yma wedi gweld golau dydd a wedi cael eu hysgrifennu o gwbl. We're fortunate in a way that, that Paul was so ill-treated by the members of the church at Corinth. Otherwise, we might not have had this lovely verse from his pen. For all the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him we utter our amen to God for his glory. I roi ychydig o, o hanes neu cemdir uh, sgrifennu'r adnod i chi. Roedd Paul wedi bwriadu ymweld ar eglwys yng Nghorinth, ond newidiodd i feddwl a, a thynnu nhw ôl o'i ddewid. And when Paul pulls out of his planned visit to Corinth, the members of the church there misconstrue his actions and they say, well, we can't rely on his word. We don't know what he'll do next. He, he promised to come and see us, but he's changed his mind. And he wouldn't dig a Paul, he hyn, nid, nid yn ysgafn, ac yn ddi feddwl y daeth i'r penderfyniad mae i beidio ymweld yn nhw yng Nghorinth. He tells them that his mind and actions were not of the yes and no order, but when he said yes, he meant it, and if he said no, he meant that as well. His yes was yes, and his no was no. And it was this remark, in a way, which led the apostle to say that the gospel that he preached was not of the yes and no kind either. It was something certain, positive, settled, and fixed. It wasn't a variable and changeable gospel. Doedd i ddim yn y fengil oedd yn newid i lliw a'i phwyslais yn fympwyol, ond roedd i'n glir a ffendant ei neges a'i mynegiant i bob amser. It was a gospel given in all sincerity by the truthful and truth-loving Jesus. The man who said what he meant and meant what he said. 
And it was by this process of reasoning that Paul was led to utter these, uh, the statement contained in the text today concerning Christ. All the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. Now, just a matter of a few weeks ago, I'm sure, sure many of you made your, your New Year's resolutions. Perhaps some have been broken already, I don't know. But what are resolutions but personal promises to yourself? And what we have here is a confirmation of God's promises to us. Ar peth cyntaf dwi am nodi o'r testun yw, yw tarddiad yr adewidion. The source of these promises. That's my first observation for you today. Yn ddo ef, y mae'r ie i holl adewidion diw sef yn Iesu Grist. For all the promises of God find their yes in him, in Jesus Christ. Now, people often change their minds. Even Paul did that in this instance, but he, he did a very wise thing as well in leading the members of the church at Corinth away from the promises of men and women, of human promises and frailty. They were liable to change, of course, and might not even be carried out because of altering circumstances. And he led them to the promises of God in Jesus, which are unfailing and unchangeable. My gwirionedd diw yn rhan anatod o'i adewidion hefyd. Os yw, os yw unrhyw berson yn dweud rwy'n addo gwneud hyn allall, wel, dylai sicrhau hyd eithaf i allu neu gallu hi i fod yn gwneud felly neu Neu fydd pobl yn dechrau amau a'i'n honestrwydd a'n didwylledd ni. Ac yn methu ymddiried yno am ni oherwydd a'i'n bod yn torri a'i'n haddewidion. Peth ofnadw yw i dorri a ddewid. If God is God, he must be true to his truth and his word. And it's not only the truth of God which would suffer if he failed to fulfill his promises, but his, his stability would be put into jeopardy as well. If he makes a promise and doesn't fulfill it, then he must have changed in some way. He's become something different from what he was when he made the promise. Now, my hynny am hosib gyda diw. Mae'n methu a bod. He is changeless. It's we are changeable. We are the changeable one. Nid civil, ni civil o'i le, mae dda'r hyn emyn yn efe. Sôn am, am gyfamod cadar yn diw, ni civil o'i le, nid ie a nag e yw, ni chyfnewidu'r chwaith yn seiliedig ar, ar yr adnod yma siwr o fod. Hopefully, not one of us would wish or dare to deny either the truthfulness or the unchanging nature of God in Jesus Christ. I took those familiar words from, from Hebrews as our text a few, few weeks ago. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Achin samid am lain, dim ond i nodi fod ei nerth ei bwere God's power and strength are bound up with his promises as well. Could it ever be said that God failed to keep his promises because he ran out of resources? No, that, that could never be. Because what he's promised to perform, he'll always be able to perform as well. Felly, wrth i ni efallai, Amai a bachani a ddewidion diw yn Iesu Grist ar brydie. Ni'n cwestiynu, mewn gwirionedd, ei wirionedd, ei sefydlogrwydd, ei bwere, ei nerth hefyd. Ond wedyn, i symud ymlaen a chan gadw'n agos at y testu yn gobeithio, dwi am eich gwahodd chi i ystyried yr amrywiaeth o adewidion. Achos mae'r adnod yn sôn, Am holl a ddewidion diw, all the promises of God, 
Now, that's a great and varied prospect for you. And that's my second observation today. The whole range of promises. There are too many to list, of course, and, and they're found throughout the whole of Scriptures, from Genesis through to Revelation. Or the there, gar the den hid the wed amser, and shiver dat gidiad mar Bible, and debig i liver o ade widion gwerthwaur diw. Throughout life's journey, the promises of God are, are like a series of stepping stones, if you will, only that we look for them. We have to look for them and trust in them, and then we can step from one promise to another. Mae'n rhaid i ni gadw ein llyged ar agor wrth reswm, a mae'n rhaid i ni chwilio am ei addewidion. Stim pwynt i ni eistio lawr a disgwyl iddyn nhw ddod, atom ni heb, heb ymdrech, mae'n rhaid i ni ei darganfod nhw, ond oi darganfod nhw ac o, o gredu ac ymddiried ynddyn nhw. Gallwn ni deithio'n ddiogel wedyn ni trwy anni bendod mawr y ddeiar yma. A gweithio ein ffordd trwy holl beryglon bywyd sy'n dod i gwrdd â ni mor aml ar daith fywyd. There are conditional promises, there are unconditional promises. There are promises of pardon and forgiveness, promises of peace and joy, promises of hope, promises at the end of life, promises for glory, promises that reach to all eternity. Ie, holl adde wydion diw, a rheini yw gweld ym herson i fab, iesu. Gallaf ddweud yn hollol onest wrthoch chi heddiw, hyd yn nod os nad yw diw yn cyflawni un ychwanegol o'i adde wydion i mi am flynyddodd i ddod, oedd ein berffaith fodlon i fyw ar ei adde wydion hyd yn hyn. Dim ond i mi gael y ffydd I am the red and the new. It's interesting to note as well in passing that the two words used here to describe the promises of God are yes and amen. Yes is from the Greek tradition, so, so a message from the Gentiles, the non-Jews. Amen, of course, is from the Hebrew tradition, so there's a message for the, for the Jewish nation. A message for the whole of humanity bound up in the person of Jesus Christ. For all the promises of God find their yes in him. That is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. Sin fa arweni at a point o lad we am adel gyda chi heddiw. Can lyniad ar adewidion the the result of these promises. That's my third and final point for you today. That is why it is through him that we utter our Amen to God for his glory. Ac wrthi mi feddwl dros y geiriau yma, dros y geiriau'r testun, teimles elfen o siom mewn gwirionedd, bod rhaid i ni dynnu ni ein hunain mewn i'r darlun, i'r picture fel petai. Oes rhaid sôn amdano ni i gwedwch. But you know, it's only right and proper that, that we are brought into the equation. If, if God is to have the glory of being a forgiving and a merciful God, there must be someone somewhere who needs forgiving. Meddyliwch am, am y ddamau gohono gan Iesu yn sôn, am y gwahodd y digion i'r wledd. Ac ar ôl i'r heini cafodd i gwahodd i beidio troi lan, aeth y gweision allan a gwahodd pawb arall i ymuno ac yn ei casglu nhw o'r pryffyrdd ar caeau. You know, there, there, wouldn't have, there would have been no feast at all in that parable by Jesus if there were no needy people to partake. And it's an amazing fact that, that God wants to show his power in pardoning my sin. But of course he can't do that if I have no sin to be pardoned. My dear, Bob Amser, and a wadhi si godi reyidhil gwaan ni Beth fyddai'n digwydd tybed 
pe bai neb angen i godi lan, dim angen am ddiw, dim angen am iesu. I feel it a great honor that, that God is glorified by my weakness. And that's a, a great privilege given to each and every one of us, weak as we are. We utter our amen to God for his glory. Do you need God's mercy and forgiveness in your life? Do you need God's support and guidance through the coming months and the coming year? Well, of course you do. And with the utmost reverence, I'd say that God himself can't be glorified by his promises without you and I. One of the great paradoxes of the gospel. Dyna rafeddod i bawb heddiw. A faith syml ein bod ni llwch y llawr fel ag yr un ni yn angen reidiol i o goniant diw yng Nghrist Iesu. A hynny ergo goniant yw enw. Amen.